Four days later, German troops march into Paris. Triumphant German soldiers unfurl the swastika from the Eiffel Tower. And France surrenders to Hitler. The Luftwaffe begins bombing runs over the British coast and shipping convoys. Britain's Royal Air Force, alerted to impending attacks by a sophisticated new radar network, takes to the sky, including the deadly Hawker Hurricane and the Supermarine Spitfire. From his secret underground headquarters in London, Churchill runs the war and rallies his troops. Let us therefore brace ourselves to our duty. And for a thousand years, men will still say, this was their finest hour. Bob Foster and Jeffrey Wellam are barely out of flight training when they're ordered to protect the skies from the invading Luftwaffe. We were, uh, I hesitate to say the, the amateurs, but we were compared to the Germans. A crowd of chaps pulled together at the last minute, the desire to fly, to, to protect the country. You then looked at it and thought, good God, what are they doing over here? Where do we start on this lot? What do you do? There's only one thing to do, is go 